story, God is still holy. Let's, let's grasp that for a second, right? If the second part of this is not here, God is still holy because of his goodness and because of, as Romans 3.23 says, we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory but because of what he is going to do to evil. That makes him good. Thankfully, the story does not end there. To those who are saved, who know Jesus Christ, God's holiness is shown in his grace, in his goodness to us. He says, Ugh, I know you have a really hard time with being holy. Not very good at it. Easily not one of your top five skills. And so because of that, I am going to do all of the work for you. Because you cannot manage this on your own. I am going to do it for you. And if you believe in me, if you trust in me, I'm going to make you holy. You will be declared holy. You will be with me forever where there will be no more crying or no more tears because evil has been uh, trounced once and for all and you get to experience the blessing of the community that was originally intended. But know this, to those who are saved, the greatest determiner of our relationship with Christ here on earth is going to be how we respond to God's call to holiness. It is not how we are saved. Uh, we're clear on that. But in this life that you've got left, in the, in the sort of window that we've been given, uh, missed as God calls us, the greatest determiner of your relationship with God on earth is going to be how you respond to his holiness. The decisions that you make based upon what God has said to realign your worldview with what God says is good because our world is not good. It is not the world that God desires for us to be a part of or to consume and we are supposed to be lights in that world. So our ability through this series to conform ourselves better to the image of Christ, to God, to holiness, is going to determine how effective Leviticus is in helping us draw closer to Jesus. I know that the idea of God's holiness can weigh heavily, and it should to a healthy amount, but know that God did not end with judgment, that his holiness leads us to his grace because of Jesus Christ, that as in, in the next time we come into the book of Leviticus and we start looking at the offerings, we're going to see he, even how at the beginning of the Bible, God was telling his people that he was going to make a way for them to have a relationship. 